Hello friends, welcome to Finance MCQ. Friends, today we will discuss the IREL India Limited Graduate Trainee Finance Exam Expected Syllabus. Friends, since IREL has not released any official syllabus, so we will talk about what will be the possible syllabus for the exam. So let's start this video. Friends, first let's talk about the vacancy details. So friends, the post is graduate trainee finance and the number of vacancies are seven vacancies for the post and the qualification asked in the notification is either a CA inter, CMA inter or a graduate candidate. Graduate if you are general category then 60% and if you are reserve category then 50% and the final selection will be based on your written test basis only and no interview for the exam will be conducted. So that's really a good thing that your selection will be purely based on your performance in your written test. So now let's discuss the syllabus and the exam pattern. Friends your exam will be of 100 marks out of that your paper 1 will consist of 50 marks and in that the minimum required marks is 23 marks. So that is almost 50% marks required to qualify. Then this, the paper one will consist of your subject knowledge that is your technical syllabus and friends your paper two will be of 50 marks and again minimum required marks is 25 marks only so 50% marks overall required to pass this exam. Then your paper two will consist of GK, English, Numerical Ability and Reasoning Ability. Friends, they have not mentioned what will be the question or the marks alloc allocated to each of these things. Say for your GK can be either 20 marks, then English will be of 10, 10 numerical and 10 reasoning like this 50 marks will be there or your GK can be say 15 marks, your English can be of 15 marks and 10, 10 marks will be for your reasoning and numerical ability so like this 50 marks can be there so it can be either in this pattern or in second pattern so what i will suggest that you should put your more focus on these two subjects that is your gk and english in your paper 2 here gk is anywhere between 4 to 5 months old GK not more than that so you don't need to study what happened in January so keep your focus on just 4 to 5 months from today so here the important events you have to keep in mind like the Olympic thing happens so you have to keep updated yourself about the Olympic event and like this whichever are the major events happen during the year you should aware about that thing so it can be asked in your GK and your English will again be similar to what asked in any other written or competitive examination so you have to prepare accordingly and your numerical and reasoning ability friends these are the topics which are repetitive in nature and asked in almost all of the competitive exams so you can buy a book on numerical ability or reasoning ability and from there prepare easy to medium category questions since it's not a cat level exam so they you are not expected to answer the difficult questions from these topics so just easy to medium category questions from these two topics will be sufficient to practice for so accordingly you should prepare for your paper 2 now let's discuss about the paper 1 which is your technical syllabus and the important one so friends your paper 1 we will discuss the expected subject since there is no official syllabus so we will go through the expected subjects which should be there in your paper 1 and here it's a 50 marks and the questions can be asked from your accounts topics financial management then taxes here the income tax and other taxes other taxes your gst and customs are the important one then your subjects like costing question can be asked from that then audit and then companies act and other laws which are important for your this exam a question can be asked from all these subjects so now let's go through them one by one and in details what are the important topics in these subjects so friends in accounts you need to know the basic accounting concepts various definitions and basic small accounting rules fundamental assumptions and all those things a question can be asked then the basic topics of accounts like 
बैंक रिकन्सिलेशन स्टेटमेंट एरर्स एंड रेक्टिफिकेशन बिल्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क फ्रॉम दैट then issue of shares issue of debentures for future of shares reissue all these things so question can be asked from this topic friends you need to know that the here the qualification required is ca inter cma inter and graduate so your syllabus will bound to be of that graduation level and not of that ca final or mba or mcom category level so you just need to know the basic things of all these topics for your examination then preparation of financial statements here the preparation as well as the presentation of financial statement is important here the questions from schedule 3 balance sheet can be asked like they can give you a question defer tax where it is reflected in the balance sheet so like this thing a question can be asked then ratio analysis also important here the accounting ratio can be asked they can ask you say what is proprietary ratio or the formula for someone or to calculate any other ratio so like this a question can be asked from ratio analysis then you need to have knowledge of accounting standards it is also important one and then in depth knowledge is also required so they don't want you to have in depth knowledge all just you need to have at least the basic applicability knowledge of in depth where it is applicable and which in depth re represents which standard like this you need to know the basic knowledge of in depth so i feel that this will be the sufficient topics to cover under accounts for your preparation of examination now let's move on to the next subject now friends financial management again one of the important subject here the important topics are sources and types of finance it's important then cost of capital what are the various cost of capitals in that the topics can be weighted average cost of capital like that the question can be asked from that then capital budgeting and risk analysis in capital budgeting very important then capital market here the primary market secondary market question can be asked and operating and financial leverage ebit pbit all those small small topics a question can be framed from these topics so these are some of the important one though it just look five topics but it they are really big topic and the important one especially your these three topics cost of capital capital budgeting and capital market you should definitely practice the topics or questions from these three topics which will be really helpful for you in your examination now let's move on to the next subject next is direct and indirect taxes friends here the important one is income tax and the important one are basic concepts of income tax then income from salary is important for you then icds applicability friends it's a part of pgbp so here they can ask you at least a one or two question from icds and not in depth question so it's very simple concept of icds you should know about icds also then income from other sources again a hot favorite topic here the questions can be framed from the topic of gifts or etc then the deduction set off and carry forward these are very small small topic but question can be asked from these topics so you need to prepare them also then gst here also you need to have the basic knowledge of gst about the basic concepts of gst then the various returns then gst rates a question can be asked from this topic then another one important act is customs act though not many questions will be asked but at least one question or one or two questions can be asked from customs act and that will be just a basic question not in depth question so you should have just the basic knowledge of customs act also for your examination i hope it is clear now let's move on to the next subject that is your costing subject so friends again in costing you need to have basic costing concept knowledge then the various types of costing like your batch costing unit costing process costing service costing etc a small question can be asked from that then budget and budgetary control this one is really favorite topic of examiner they do ask question from this topic here the question can be from your fixed budget category or flexible budget cash budget or zero based budget so question can be in any of this topic so you have to prepare them also then standard costing question can be asked from standard costing so the if you prepare this much it will give a confidence in this subject while facing the examination then next subject is law 
फ्रेंड्स अंडर लॉ यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर कंपनीज एक्ट इन कंपनीज एक्ट दो दे हैव नोट नेवर मैंशन दैट हाउ मच एंड वट विल बी आस बट यू हैव टू पुट योर मेजर फोकस टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू डायरेक्टरशिप यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर देन द मीटिंग्स अ क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर फ्रॉम द मीटिंग इट कैन बी फ्रॉम ए जी एम और बोर्ड मीटिंग एक्सेट्रा देन क्वेश्चन कैन बी देयर फ्रॉम रिटर्न वेरियस रिटर्न इन कंपनीज एक्ट और एनी ड्यू डेट इन कंपनीज एक्ट लाइक दैट यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर दैट then indian contract act again very important at the level of ca inter cma inter and graduate level so you need to prepare this topic also for your examination then sales of goods act then partnership and llp there won't be many questions from these topics so if there can be one or two questions from partnership or llp then other miscellaneous here they can ask question from payment of bonus act payment of gratuity act negotiable instrument act etc so these are very small small topics but questions do come from these topics also so you have to prepare that but your major focus should be on the companies act then indian contract act then sales of goods act so these are very much relevant and important topic for your examination now let's move on to the next topic your next subject is audit friends here the audit basic objectives of audit very easy and very simple a question can be asked then vouching and verification a question can be there from this topic then internal audit again also important here the basic applicability who can be an internal auditor all those things basic thing can be asked from internal audit then provisions related to auditor friends this actually a part of companies act but i have considered under the audit here they can ask about the appointment of auditor who can be appointed as a auditor first auditor cag auditors like all those things can be asked then rights duties etc major focus should be there on your appointment who can be appointed as an auditor when auditor is to be appointed like this you need to prepare yourself for the examination then a question can be asked from audit report which types of audit report are issued then the difference between qualified non qualified etc so a question can be framed from this topic then auditing standard you don't need to have in depth knowledge of auditing standard but at least you should know couple of auditing standards the which audit standards the name of audit standards like sa 230 represent like this you need to know the basic of audit standards from and the you should try to remember the important audit standard for your examination purpose so i hope it is clear so friends these are the all important subjects and the relevant topics which will be there in your technical syllabus and will be part of your paper 1 which is having 50% marks and minimum 25 marks is required to pass this paper and friends if you want to prepare for your examination so finance mcq has launched a practice course of IRL India Limited Graduate Trainee Finance if i quickly take you to the important highlights of this course so friends in this course we cover entire technical syllabus which is of a 50 marks so that is almost 50% weightage we are covered through this course and here we are offering more than 3000 mcq questions to practice and the mcq questions are subject wise topic wise designed so whatever the subjects and topics we just discussed so everything is covered in this course and friends the biggest thing over here is that we have added more than 700 mcq questions of past examinations of accountant or graduate level accountant exams so it will be a really big preparation booster for all of you so even if you take the course and practice this 700 question so it will give you significant boost in your preparation and it will give you a big confidence to face this examination since all these 700 questions are from this all topics that we discussed so it will help you to revise and also give you an idea what kind of or what type of questions are asked in the examination and where you are standing in your preparation so even if you prepare this 700 question it will be a significant booster for your preparation and it will give a confidence while facing the examination and friends demo is available on the website you can visit www.financemcq.in and take the demo for this course and decide whether the course is helpful for you or not but i personally feel that it will be a really helpful for you 
in your preparation of the examination so do visit the website and take a demo for this course so i wish you all the best for the examination thank you so much for watching this video till the end